We will see Anna, Daily Dog, and Linus sail offshore for four days from Wapu in the Marquesas to the Paradise Atoll of Fakarava. But to do it, they have to sail through the dangerous archipelago at night. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing so you can see our round-the-world adventure and stories of the most interesting sailors in the world. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next video. We left the jagged peaks of Wapu the day after our waterfall hike. The cruise of the Marquesas was over, and Tahiti beckoned. Anna Daly and I just left Wapu at about 2 p.m. and uh, we are just gonna sail overnight for the next four or five nights to uh, Fakaraba hopefully that's our intended destination. So Anna's just uh, finishing up her first watch here of day one. Uh, we made an earlier departure than we expected. We were Started, we were thinking of leaving on the 17th or 18th, it's the 16th right now, uh, but uh, there's a trough coming through Tahiti and the two Omotus. Uh, it's forecast in the next seven days, and uh, we wanted to be ahead of that trough when we reached Fakarava. Was that uh, if we wait for the trough to pass then we might be late for Jan and Sophie so we're going to try to get ahead of the trough and jump out in Fakarava and see what there is to see there which is, I hear it's nice and uh, that way we only have a two-day passage to Tahiti after that and we've got plenty of time to let any trough blow through. But if we waited we would have a seven day passage ahead of us and you know the trough may not blow through until 24th, uh, 25th and that that would make it kind of tight to uh, be in Tahiti uh, to greet Jana and Sophie. We had uh, perfect sailing conditions of one to three meter seas, 10 to 15 knots with wind on the beam for what was just a marvelous first day of the passage. So we had uh, a very good run in the first 24 hours. We made over 150 miles in the first 24 hours. So. If present trends continue, that should put us in Fakarava on Tuesday morning at uh, low tide. But present trends probably will not continue. That's a pretty good run. Uh, I don't expect to average six knots, but we might be able to do it. Uh, but if we do, we'll have to use a motor uh, to get us there. The uh, Winds are forecast to die down, so I think we're going to go a little bit slower in the next couple days. And probably a more realistic goal is to get to Fakarava at the uh, high tide in the afternoon. We have been at sea not yet 48 hours. This is a second morning here, Sunday morning, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning. And we have already uh, gone half the distance, so we made 270 nautical miles of the 540 nautical mile trip. Under just perfect conditions, force four winds, mostly beam reaching, uh, and making good times, six knots. Plus, the, uh, the winds have shifted a little bit today, so we're more on a broad reach, and that's caused the Genoa to snap a few times. But overall, I think uh, it's, it's been pretty good, and it's supposed to turn back to beam reaching 
So I guess one of the things about the two Omotus, if it's a beam reach to the the Marquesas, then you could go back to the Marquesas if you wanted to, because you have a beam reach or a close hauled on the, the way back. Often with passages, you have to decide if you want too little wind or too much wind. I usually opt for too little wind. So usually you'll have a good part of the passage where you have ideal sailing conditions and then the wind drops off. Or if you choose too much wind, you have ideal sailing conditions and the wind picks up. You can hear the engine in the background. Uh, we went from force four on the beam to force three behind us, and then force two and force one, and you might call this force zero, that it's really just a calm. So we are motoring in the calm as we enter the dangerous archipelago. We're about ready to pass our first uh, island in the Tuamotus, uh, supposedly it'd be five miles to our north. But will we see it is the question. Land ho! First uh, two motus. We've sighted it. About seven miles out, eight miles out. It's called Decay. I'm not even sure anybody lives there. It's not an atoll. It is an island. It's very difficult to both enter the two Motus chain at daylight and then reach Pakarava at a daylight slack water. In our case, we had to sail through the two Motus at night, which is a piece of cake if you have GPS. As long as you're not trying to enter an atoll at night, you should be fine. Old school navigators did not have as good a read on their positions when they were sailing through the two Motus at night and may have lacked charts of the area. We arrived at Fakarava's North Pass at the morning slack water. Fakarava's entrance channel is always flowing out at slack water. An outgoing flood tide will have such a strong current, it may be impossible to run the North Pass. Running the channel now, we're down at 2.5 knots close to slack tide. We were going six knots, over six knots motoring in, and uh, we're down to as low as 2.5, but now around three. It's just uh, about 20 minutes before slack water. Next month, you'll see us swim with the sharks in Fakarava and explore the Paradise Island. Subscribe to our free newsletter at slowboatsailing.com so you never miss a video. And check out our travels in the Marquesas.